hello and welcome today i want to talk about smart objects in affinity photo but before we get started i just want to say hello and welcome to my new subscribers and just say it's my absolute pleasure to have you here and thank you for subscribing right to get back on track with smart objects first we need to understand what smart objects are so what are smart objects smart objects is where you can make a change to a image and it doesn't class as a destructive movement a destructive movement is where you make a change you click apply and then you can't change it again that means it embeds it into the image what you've just done but with a smart object you can click apply and then you can go back and edit that change that's a non-destructive movement and I will show you what I mean by that so with the background height um, highlighted selected go up to filters click blur and Gaussian blur and click apply now we've clicked apply we can't change those settings so that's classed as a destructive movement where if I'm to click control and Z well how do we convert it into a smart object where there's no way to convert it into a smart object because if you right click there's no convert to smart object why is that and that's because the affinity software determines when it needs to be a smart object and when it doesn't need to be a smart object and unfortunately it doesn't convert every image into a smart object but there is a way around that where if we've got our background se selected go down to the hourglass or live filters and then go up to Ga Gaussian blur then when we add a Ga Gaussian blur I'll just put the edges back on and close it off we can now edit that blur where before we can't so we can change it again to where we need it. that means it's now become a smart object because we can edit a change what we what we've just done where as you saw before if it wasn't a smart object we couldn't change it and that's how you convert an image to a smart object in the affinity software but if you're saying yes I want a smart object but I don't want the blur well you can put a blur on you just don't have to have the blur in motion so if that's still on no pixels it's not adding the blur at all but it keeps the background as a smart object and that's how you can convert images where you do a destructive movement into a smart object in affinity software and i'm going to cut the video there it's just a quick one on smart objects in affinity photo if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell to get a notification of my next upload and thank you for watching